if you've seen my previous video, then you know I've already done the other ISU with the 122mm cannon, but this time I've already primed it with the server's primer and the plastic putty. And I'll be doing it in a nice German captured camo scheme, the tricolor camo. And I thought it would be fun to mix together flat brown, flat yellow, and white so that the colors will look like your own homemade dark yellow. Either paler or more early where it looks more of a yellowish brown. I added on more white to the dark yellow mix to make more contrast and highlights on the model. Now let's paint on the one of the green camos, the intermediate green, or you could use a dark green or maybe an even paler tone of green. And right now I know it looks very vibrant and it sticks out very much, but later on it will be toned down and faded, hopefully. And for the brown color on the camo, we use mahogany brown to help give me a almost reddish brick brown. To seal in the paint job, we use satin varnish from Viejo to help give us a nice glossy or semi-glossy sheen so that the almost weathering effects later on will look like a nice contrast in between very matte and the satin sheen. Now I know some of you may have seen me make my own adjustable acrylic wash out of Tommy paints so a dozen times now, but I think it still helps to show some people that you want to correctly make your own mixture by adding on the paint first, the water, and then the hand soap from the pump that you saw there. And mixing it makes it a nice wash that will help reach the deep corners and uh, deep crevices and details on the model. Next, I can begin mixing in this retarder medium and this dark rust paint as our beginning deep chipping effects on the model. But I also start off with adding a lot of white to our original dark yellow mixture, which will help give it a nice light uh, superficial chipping 
and we then let her add on the smaller chips of with the dark rust. Since this is a Boita Panza, as the Germans would call it, you can see here the white pan-painted markings on these captured American or Russian tanks. And I want to try and replicate that with just flat white and hopefully make it look like it was roughly painted on by the crew. Hand painted on white markings and brush painted is harder than I thought it would be and I had to restart multiple times. I mix together dark Prussian blue and neutral gray in equal parts to give me a nice cool steel effect on the metal parts like the tools and parts of the exhausts. You can choose to make your own acrylic mix by mix together buff and deck tan to get a nice light dust wash to help me build up the initial basis of the weathering stage. You can either choose to mix it with German gray or either with actual flat earth with deck tan to get a nice light dry mud effect. It all intends on your tastes and what you want your model to be either heavily weathered or just slightly dusty. And if you're a little bit curious, I use brown Japanese ground self-defense force, that's a mouthful, to help prime the tracks and help give me a nice basis of weathering the tracks. Of the similar colors that you would see me here using, of mixing either flat earth and deck tan or a buff and the deck tan dust wash that you saw me uh, add on to the model earlier. I'm sorry if I didn't show you any further of footage of me weathering the tracks as it wouldn't be any different as you saw me 
weather the upper areas and surface of the model. But let me know what you think of the model in the comments, and I'll see you all next time.